Hi everybody, namaste. I got asked this question recently, what is God and how do we interact with God? It was kind of a question that I've been working on for years, but it just came out of the blue. And so I ha how I answered it was, how I look at it is God, I call it creator field that permeates everything, that permeates me, that dwells in me, that's part of the couch, part of the wall, part of the universe. It's permeating everything. It's a field. And if you look at it, it's like an ocean, which is the field. And when we manifest, we are the ripples, the waves that coalesce, that move on the ocean. And what happens is when we're born, we're programmed to think that we're small, we're separated, we're this, we need this person to do this to connect with the creator field. But actually, as I said, we're actually waves on the ocean, on the field. We're part of the ocean. It's like a fish in water. He doesn't realize that he's in water because he's always in it. So I look at it as a, a massive field of consciousness, but far more than consciousness too. I mean, everybody likes to say it's consciousness, but it's infinite and it has infinite dimensions. And that means if we're the wave on the ocean and part of the ocean, logically, we're infinite beings. And that's a key concept I use on a daily basis, a negative programming thought, because we've got programs running in us. Even when we're in the womb, sounds of voices and sounds of things affect the fetus. They take on, they know the mama's voice, they know dad's voice. They pick up vibrations, they're very sensitive. And then we're born and we're told, you can't do this, you can't do that. Oh, you can do that, but you have to be this age or this age. We're limitless beings that have been programmed to think that we're small and we're separate. And then what happens is we manifest a being overweight, being angry, violent, through the, if we're negatively programmed. That's not to say that you don't have positive programs as well that empower you, but a lot of what our programs are doing is programming us to think we're separate. We're not the waves on the ocean. We're separate, which is impossible because the creative field is everywhere. It permeates all things. It's part of us. We're part of it. Now, it's this is an analogy, a metaphor that everybody knows but I look at it in a, in a deep, deep way. The elephant, the baby elephant at the zoo, it's got a chain around its foot. It's pegged in with a metal stake. It fights and fights and fights day after day, month after month, month, year after year to get away from that, to break the chains. But as it ages, that chain is around its wrist for years and years and years. It's now programmed to think that it can never get away. The massive elephant, full bull, bull elephant, six and a half tons African elephant, has a rope around its wrist. Or oh, it's, it's poor. Or oh, it's, it's a leg. It doesn't even try to get away. And that's, I see that as a metaphor for our life. Once we've got these negative or small and disempowering programs, What's happening is we don't even try to break free of the matrix, our programming, our self-imposed small thinking. And then on the other side of that, that's always with us. We've got the field, the creative field in us, the essence. And how the, the other part of the question was how do we interact with the, feet, with the field? Well, that's the really important part. That's 
meditating is one of the things. Connecting with the field each day. It's to do with vibration, energy and resonance. So if you want to pick up, you got to pick your vibration up to resonate with the field. So then all things are possible once you're resonating with the infinite field, guys. And then you realize that all these things have been, been taught to you aren't true. They're just disempowering to, to make you small and to make you easily manipulated. But you're an infinite being, guys. So it's not true what's been taught to you. So you need to defrag, delete these programs. And one of them is realizing that you're infinite. Not talking about your age, not talking about what job you're doing. Because they're put, trying to put you in a box, a pigeonhole, to, to give you a finite, oh, you can't do this, you're, you're only this age, or you can't do that because you're too old. No, you're an infinite being. That's your essence. And it always will be your essence, and, it, and it's with you. From reincarnation to reincarnation to reincarnation, guys. So this is something that is deeply embedded in me. And I'm trying to empower others to realize that we are all infinite beings. So when we see another person and we judge them and say, but they're actually the same as us. They're waves on the same infinite ocean of divine love of the creator. We are part of the creator. We are just another wave on the ocean. So when we're looking at another another person, another, they're infinite. They may not realize that, but their essence is infinite. It's where we're at. The amount of effort we've put in each day, day after day, decade after decade of doing yoga and meditating I've been doing, it expands your consciousness. We're here to expand our consciousness. As you've heard before, and people go, oh, we know that. We're infinite beings having this experience, this physical experience. But and it, take it deeper than that. Everything's spiritual, guys. Everything's creative field. Name one thing that isn't. So that's a deeper way of looking at it. People try and... There's only one dimension. And that's the field. People try and break it down with the intellect because the intellect is designed to... It's like a sharp knife to cut, to, to compartmentalize another part, another part, break it down, cut it down. Just like science is cutting down the physical reality and going smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Electrons, protons, neutrons, quarks, orcs, all these things. And it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Neutrinos, smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. But it goes on for infinite, infinite, in infinite, infinite, because... We also manifest the, the using the field, guys, interacting with the field. When we align ourselves with it, when we lift our vibration, we manifest our truth, our manifest things into the physical plane. We manifest giving love, giving joy, breaking out of that paradigm, expanding the paradigm, the programming that we've been programmed on, breaking the shackles from the, from the foot of the elephant. Walking away into the meadow of light, the field. It's free. It's no longer bound by physical restraints and conditions. It's defragging, deleting your programmings and realizing you're an infinite being. So I hope this helped, guys. Boop subscribe. I'm here to help people. We're all here to help each other. Let's empower each other and let's move on up and let's be our best self every day. It's like a game in the Matrix in a video game, that we're trying to be our best self, we're empowering up every day, and then expanding and growing, guys, so lovely to see you all, namaste, bye for now.